Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to Slick Box. And we're going to talk about Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney this week. I mean, this is going to be my last video on Ryan Garcia. Every time I post about him, I get a lot of views and a lot of comments on the video. So, you know, it's good for the YouTube, but this is going to be my last video on it. And uh, it's going to be a good fight. But let's talk, about, let's talk about what we've just seen. I just saw the press conference. I've I've come to the conclusion now. I mean, like, all we've got left is the weigh-in, but I've come to the conclusion that Ryan Garcia is absolutely Coco Pops. The guy is just off his rocker. Like, I thought in the beginning, I thought maybe he had psychosis or something, and then um, then he started acting a bit normal, training as he usually does, and he started to look good in the training videos that I saw, and he wasn't really talking crazy apart from on Twitter. And now he's just he's off his rocker again. I I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with him. I don't know. He maybe he's got psychosis or maybe he's just like because it seems like he goes off a bit wild when he does like um when he there's a lot of like things like when it's a big uh, media event or something. So like every time there's a big media event, he goes a bit like Dululu. So I don't know if he's just going through manic episodes when there's a lot of pressure and stress. And that's going to be interesting considering the fight is going to be magnified by a thousand compared to all of these media events. Um, he popped up to that, like they, were, they had like a, a face off on top of, I think, Empire State Building. And Ryan Garcia was there and he had no top on. And he just had wearing a backpack. Obviously, Devin Haney's like, this guy's got no t-shirt on, on top of a high rise building. I'm going to let him wait. Devin Haney, just let him wait. And, you know, Ryan Garcia are probably going to get sick or, or, or you know, it's not, it's, it's just not smart. Like, this, this is what makes me think that maybe Ryan Garcia, he, he doesn't have a solid team. Like, he's got family, yeah, but it seems like everyone around him is just probably a yes man. Um, his promoters, we know about promoters, we know about boxing promoters, they don't care. And the thing is, like, after this fight, if it comes out, like, and if he gets destroyed or if it comes out that he's got some kind of mental health issue that we don't know about, this is going to look very bad on Oscar De La Hoya, Bernard Hopkins, all these guys that have been talking in these press conferences and these interviews saying, oh, um, he's just playing a game. He's just, it's just media. This is that. They're going to look so bad because... You like we can all tell there's something not right about this kid. Like especially you go on his Twitter, and he's posting videos on there too. Um, I saw a video of him with some two blonde girls in the hotel, like <laughs> just having a good time. Like he's he's acting like this is the post fight after party, and he this is training camp, man. I mean, man, when I was in training camp, I didn't have no fun. I was just like, it was depressing training camp in a way because it was just so repetitive and boring. But this guy, he looks like he's living his best life, and he's and he's in training camp. I mean, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen, but he looks he looks big as well. Like I don't understand how big he looks. He might be on some kind of medication. I mean, it might not be like psychosis from or um, what's it called, a manic breakdown or manic thing, manic episode from. The drug use, maybe he does do drugs, obviously he probably does do drugs, but maybe it's from pharmaceuticals as well, because I know America is crazy with these pharmaceuticals and the side effects that they can give you. So, and that that's probably maybe made him look so much bigger as well, because then them pharmaceuticals can do that to you. And, you know, mental health is no joke. I know I'm messing around a bit in, in the beginning of the video and stuff. And I have to say, I have to add, I do like Ryan Garcia. He's like, I find him very entertaining. Now, none of these new crop of fighters like Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, Shakur Stevenson, they're not, I don't really, I don't really enjoy watching them. Not like back in the day when I used to watch Mayweather, Miguel Cotto, even Bernard Hopkins when he was fighting, Shane Mosley, all these guys. I, I used to love boxing back then. Now it's like boxing is just, there's nothing to it anymore. It's just a bit big of, big like circus in a way. But, I do enjoy the when you get fights like this where it's a bit of a circus and it's just funny. It's just so funny. But I do like Ryan Garcia's personality because he's just being himself. 
even though he is a bit delulu and I do think he needs a mental health checkup maybe or some some kind of anal analysis. We don't know what's going on, man. But as for the fight itself, the fight itself, I feel like Ryan Garcia, he can win on points, but it's not going to be like points where he's outboxing Devin Haney. He's going to win on points by beating Devin Haney up, maybe rocking him a few times, hurting him a little bit, catching him with stiff jabs and bloodying him up a bit. He's got to win by beating right Devin Haney up. Whereas Devin Haney, he can win just by hardly being touched and just boxing and keeping it long, keeping it very boring. So this can go either way. And obviously there's the factor of knockouts as well. As well. Now, both men can knock each other out. I mean, Devin Haney is not a puncher, but Devin Haney can knock Ryan Garcia out. And if he does, it's probably going to be maybe like a shot that he hides, maybe like a, a, a long, uh, wide-range right hook. Or it could be a short uppercut on the inside. Or it could be just a straight one-two down the middle. Something like that, I think Devin Haney could catch Ryan Garcia with. Now, Devin Haney's not a big puncher, but he could do it just because... We don't know how Ryan, Ryan Garcia is and he's a bit straight up and his chin's up in the air. So Ryan Garcia is there to be hit. So it'll be interesting if Devin, if Ryan Garcia can withstand any punches from Devin Haney. As for Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia can pop on Devin Haney too. And I think Ryan Garcia's best chance for a knockout is within the six, first six rounds. I think once he gets past the fourth and fifth round, that's when... Ryan Garcia's power and speed is going to, need to slow down a little bit. I mean, you can't maintain your power and speed as strong and as ferocious in your first three rounds. That's why there's a difference between amateur boxing and professional boxing, which is amateurs only three rounds and professionals 12 rounds, right? So your power level starts to come down. Your opponent starts to get used to your, your punches and it all changes. So, yeah, this is my last video on this. I think Ryan Garcia is absolutely Coco Pops, but I do love his personality. I think he's quite funny. Devin Haney is just Devin Haney. And I mean, I've got to be honest, he's a bit boring, to be honest. I know that the ticket sales have been pretty bad, and it doesn't make no sense that they've done this in New York. There's a lot of synchronicities with this fight as well. You've got Ryan Garcia fighting on 420, which is an infamous pot smoking day around the world or in America. And, you know, he's been smoking his pot. Let's see what happens. This is going to be very interesting. They should have done this fight in Vegas because I think they would have sold more tickets. I don't know, man. I think this is just like a big money grab by everyone. It's a big money grab definitely by any everyone. They're overselling this fight. But Hopkins was saying like this is a historical fight and things like that. I don't know, man. Boxing's changed a lot. It's changed big time. And... It's going to be an entertaining fight, but it's definitely not no historical fight. And that's no disrespect to the fighters, but it's a disrespect to the fans because at the end of the day, these promoters just want to con people out of their money. And Americans get it bad because they're paying like crazy money for the pay-per-view. So, yeah, boxing is just one big business. I'll start talking about that stuff too eventually. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Good luck to both men on the fight. It's going to be entertaining. I'm going to be watching... I don't think I'll stay up for it because I got I got stuff to do, man. Peace.